Cause we're spending the night And it feels alright But it's over now Time keeps slipping With your skin next to mine In your lips I can fight But it's over now You brought out the best in me We had everything we needed You put me aside And turned out the lights Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a porch transformation and I'm doing it super low budget. I am reusing a bunch of things that I already have. Um, and then I'll actually go in and show you guys the few things that I picked up from Target and from Lowe's. Um, I got some new plants. I got some new pillows for the, my rocking chairs. Um, I'm not a fan of this little table that's currently sitting in between those rocking chairs. Um, I've had it for years and just kind of kept moving it and moving it with us, but I got a really beautiful one from Lowe's today. So I'm going to show you guys what the porch looks like first and then we'll kind of get into it. But before we start decorating, I do want to make sure that I clean it up. It needs a good sweep. The rocking chairs are super gross and super dirty. Wouldn't want to sit in them right now, but it's a beautiful day. It's 69 and sunny here in California with a slight breeze. So it's the perfect day to go ahead and get this done. But here is my little porch with my rocking chairs. And I'll actually take you guys over to the garage and show you what I got. So here is a small little haul for you guys. These items here are from Lowe's. I was actually in the checkout line and I saw this really pretty potted flower plant here with the welcome sign. And I'll show you guys what it is. Let me see if I can get to it here. Italian ice. So it was $29.98. Gives me all of the care directions right here. As you can see, it comes already in the pot and then the beautiful welcome sign here at the top. And this table or outdoor stool, I think is what it's called on here, is by Allen and Roth, also from Lowe's. Um, it's really beautiful, herringbone kind of carved wood style. Um, it's semi-heavy, but not super heavy, but um, it is made for the outdoors. So I'm really excited I found this. This was actually the last one that they had, and I think this was $49. The other things I got from Lowe's are these three Boston ferns. I love the look of ferns. I love how they're kind of more like vintage-y feeling. And I've always kind of had a thing for the South. I have no idea why. So I really wanted to incorporate these into my front porch. Here is the tag here if you guys like them. And I believe these were $19.99 each also from Lowe's. And then let me swing you around here so you can actually see the labels. Um, this wreath I already had. I think this one I got from Burlington a long, like probably last year. I think it was around $20. So I'm gonna be putting this on my front door. Um, these are the solar lights that I picked up from Target. These I think were $34.99 originally, um, but I got them for $28. So that was a really good deal. There's six of them in here and they are solar. And look how pretty, those are ferns, guys. Look how beautiful that looks. The other things that I got from Target are these new throw pillows. These are also ferns. These were actually kind of my inspiration when I found these. These were $24.99 on sale for $20. And these you could actually get online or in, or in store. So I'm actually going to be putting these on my rocking chairs. And then I'm also thinking about Laying, layering them with the black and white ones that I already have on there. I think that might look super beautiful. So these are a few of the things that I'm going to be working with today. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started on cleaning up the porch so we can get decorating. So as I get started on this front porch, I just wanted to let you guys know that today's video is in collaboration with a group of girls that I met over on my Instagram. 
We did a really fun giveaway over there and decided to go ahead and collab over here on YouTube. I'm going to have all these ladies um, listed down below in my description box. We all chose different parts of our home that we wanted to transform and keep it really realistic with you guys. So if you're looking for more fun transformation videos like this one, definitely scroll down to the description box and check them out. Um, to start on the porch, these rocking chairs were really dusty and I thought even though I'm going to be wiping them down with some simple green, I wanted to give them a quick dry dusting with my broom and then I'll go ahead and sweep the whole porch. You won't believe who is calling that to. You don't deserve what he's putting you through. It's not your fault, though, no, no way I'm saying so. got a lighter colored house and everything just seems to get really dusty and dirty here where we live so I figured I'd go ahead and just go over the shutters and some of the stucco and the brick with the broom and just kind of get a few layers of dust off even this screen here um, I realistically would love to come in here with our power washer and just really hit it good with water and get it all nice and clean but I don't know how to use it so I think that's a weekend project for when my husband is home. I feel like our list of things that we want to do to this house is never ending in the best way possible, of course. I know that over time we will slowly check off that list, but I wanted to know what are some of the things that you are wanting to get done on your house for this summer? I would love for you to comment below and share your ideas with me. But you're trying to deny that we should be together. It's heavy weather we're heading for tonight. You better take what you can, cause the time is right now. We only need the two of part of the video putting it all together and decorating it I kind of went with just an open mind without a solid plan when I went to the store to pick out all this stuff 
and I just kind of saw those pillows and just kind of went with it and then I saw this table and just kind of went with it so I'm really hoping that this all comes together had a change of plans with the black and white pillows. I was really hoping that they wouldn't cover these pretty fern pillows as much as they did. So I put them up there because I do like the contrast of the black and white stripes. I think it's super chic, but it totally blocked the new pillows. So I thought that I would go ahead and just leave those off for now. So now I'm going to bring in the ferns and I'm just going to kind of place them here on the patio for right now. I think ideally I would love to hang these from right above, but since my husband's not home to actually help me with that project, I think I'll just go ahead and place them where I would hang them. Um, you guys are going to see me kind of step back and take a look and kind of move them a few times just to make sure they are exactly where I want them. And I do that a lot when I decorate. I move things around until it just feels right. Here's what I have going on so far. Um, I bought three ferns initially to go across here. But now I'm like, I don't know, is that gonna be too busy? So I just did these two with this one. So let me stand back. Um, I thought about maybe putting one on there, but then there's no room to put anything. So I was thinking about maybe doing a lantern. Um, you guys let me know what you would do. I'd love to probably eventually hang them, but that's obviously something that I can't do myself. So there's this this way. I'm gonna try putting the fern up there and then three across. And then I would love for you guys to let me know what you think. So this lantern I've already owned and honestly I think I've had it for a good like five, six or seven years. It's kind of been moved to different houses and around the house and stuff with me but I figured why not try it out here and see how it goes. I think at night if it was lit and we wanted to kind of just hang out out here and maybe watch the sun go down it would make it a really cozy space. Moving on to these solar lanterns, I went ahead and threw these together really quickly and I went ahead and staked them along the pathway going to our front door. Um, I'm probably going to need to get these in the ground a little bit deeper. Our ground is really hard where we live, but um, I figured I'll go out tonight and see how they look after dark.
So I figured since we are in the front yard working on the porch, I would kind of show you guys our plans that we have for the front yard, which um, I feel like I'm never out here, so I never really get to um, share any of that stuff with you guys. So I'm gonna flip you around. Over here, when we put in our pool, a lot of this got um, just messed up. This used to all be mulch and plants, but when they brought a tractor through here, they had to knock down that wall to dig the pool. So this, we have plans to do RV parking because we do plan on getting another trailer someday. So we're gonna get that all um, concreted and then probably do some hedges along here to separate our property line and the neighbor's property line and then remulch and landscape all of this here. This will stay grass. So we're just gonna make this a little bit nicer to look at. Um, everything is quite a job in its own. Um, I was using that for my camera, but um, every little bit is progress. I don't know when we're gonna get to this because we do have so many other projects that we wanna get to in the house before we do the front. We do want to finish a lot more hardscape, do like a built-in barbecue and like a fire pit and like a bar hangout and all that. So for now, I'm just trying to kind of work with what I have and I know a lot of you guys are in the same boat. So when we do this project here, I will be sure to take you guys along from start to finish, just like a lot of my projects. But at least now that um, I'm filming this front porch, I can kind of look back on this later and see how far this house has come since we've been here. All right, you guys, I just grabbed a glass of lemonade and I'm gonna come out here and sit in my nice, clean and decorated rocking chairs. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys think of the final result. I think I'm still going to get these plants hung when my husband gets a chance to actually come home and help me. That's mostly on the weekends, but for now, I think it's super just enjoyable and beautiful out here. So I'm gonna hang out and just enjoy the sunshine and the breeze. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go down to the description box below and check out a lot of my French channels and check out all of their awesome transformations. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe before you go and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. <laughs> Are you enjoying the new rocking chairs and pillows? Yes. Yeah. So we're just gonna hang out and we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, bye. bye. I look in the mirror, who's looking back at me? I don't know what happened. Guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on